This is the April 2024 Fortnite crew review. Let's get sweaty. So this is Ares. I love that we have a little bit of fire incorporated on the helmet here. We have the, obviously, these additional styles you can get for being continuous subscribers to the Fortnite crew. That phase looks good. That red and gold look really good as well. Like a counterpart is a 10 out of 10. Love the helmet. Looks really good. The back bling here. I guess I'm just kind of used to like seeing a seamless transition when a cape comes with a specific outfit, but it just looks kind of stuck on there. I'm not a fan of that. We have the additional styles as well for that. And then the harvesting tool here does change the impact depending on what style you have selected here. We'll go to this phase one now as well. You can see the impact does change. Very cool there. For the gameplay, I am using the Steel Wing Legendary Glider and my weapon wrap to go with the fire theme on the helmet, Burning Glow. So what's interesting about this outfit is the fact that we have like this super like old school armor look here, aggressive armor. And then we have a sidearm on the right thigh there. Like, oh, here's a pistol, a modernized pistol. It is what it is though. Burning glow, not bad. I didn't want anything super animated to go with the helmet flames. I know we have like some more crazy animated stuff in the game already, but I didn't want to go too overboard there. The steel wing just kind of makes sense in terms of like an aggressive theme here. I know there's like not any gold on this glider, but I still love the theme nonetheless. Again, not a huge fan of the cape here. I think it kind of takes away from what I want to see as the player, regardless who cope and equip. Pretty boring equip here. But again, the colors will change depending on the edit styles you unlock later. And I do like the glow on the harvesting tool there. And then we have the glow on the cape as well. I do like that about the cape. Like, I like the glow on the cape for sure on the bottom. Nice orange impact here. Nothing too crazy yet. I am really excited to use this without the backlink on though. And then hitting opponents here. I would say the sounds are pretty average for this tool. We've actually heard this before. Without the backling here, love it, love it, love it. I don't think it needs a backling, but I do have quite a bit here to show you guys. In terms of the cape, it just sits very awkwardly on other outfits. And what's kind of a bummer in terms of like not having a seamless transition, you can see we have the same fabric around the neck here on the outfit but it doesn't transition into that cape. I'm not sure why. We've seen it before, but we don't have it here, which kind of stinks. I have a lot of back bling selected here, more than usual, because I wasn't necessarily sold on what kind of theme I wanted to go for exactly. Um, but there's a lot you can do here, a lot of combo potential for sure. It just depends on what you kind of want to go for, the look you're looking for. Padlock because of the fire. I like the glow within that to go with the helmet. This looks good. It's not a super vibrant gold because obviously the gold on the outfit isn't super vibrant either, but even this black and red one looks super aggressive. I like the tendrils here. Those are fun. Um, some gold, black and red here, depends on what you're looking for. Now these chains do go with the ones on the wrist, although they're not golden looking chains. They still look pretty good here. Fire starter, I love that. Ruby Relic looks pretty good. The gold's a little too shiny, but it's very close. These are so clean. From the Aegis Royalty set, super clean back blings here. Can't go wrong with those. Darkest Edge, not bad, not bad. Flame Sigil, love it to go with the flames on the actual helmet. Um, it, it's, it's interesting, like, does the outfit need a compass? No, but that gold is 10 out of 10, perfect to what we're looking for. That's what it came with. You can see here, it's not going to look this good on other outfits. I'm telling you that right now. This is cool as well. A little bulky, but still, I'm pretty sure... Um, judging by how strong Ares looks here, it can carry that back bling. Bloodman Rising is super simple. I love that one. Um, Wix Katana as well. It just kind of depends on what kind of theme you're going for here. Pack Leader looks good because we do have like the brown, in, like on the legs, around the waist as well there, like the under fabric. And then lastly, Fire Fangs. If I was doing something, I like Celestial Guide here, and I really enjoyed the Flame Sigil as well. It would have looked pretty good on the flash here, except it sits in the neck of the outfits here. It looks so bad on other outfits, unfortunately. Zori Bliss would have looked pretty clean as well, considering that gold we're looking for, like a goldish copper, and the color's not bad either. But again, it sits so 
terribly bad on other outfits. Doesn't look like that on the outfit it came with. Absolutely not. Potassius pills would have been a really fun theme. Colors as well. But where are you sitting? I'm just saying, Crimson Elite. Just for another, <laughs> another example of how bad this sits on other outfits. Not a fan of the cape at all. So in case you guys missed it, we did do the Aubrey before you buy in an ASMR format. That was really fun to record. Thank you guys so much for watching. Support your creator, P-I-Z-Zero, and we'll see you in Earth on the live stream. See ya.